Hi everyone. Well, I would just like to start off by saying that I am so glad that I am saved. I thank the Lord that he saved my soul and that I have a testimony here to give today. I was brought up in um, a family where my, both my parents were not Christians. But although they weren't Christians, they still had the fear of God and they still believed in sending us along to church and Sunday school. Unfortunately, the church that I attended when I was young um, did not teach us the gospel message that we had a soul to be saved. Um, I'm thankful though that during the week my parents would have sent us along to various other churches where um, to the wee children's meetings and that's where we heard the gospel message for the first time and learnt all the Bible stories. When I turned 11, my dad decided then that we were going to change churches and we started attending Macrofelt Free Presbyterian Church. And it was there under the um, ministry of the Reverend McRae that firstly both my parents got saved. And then one night at the age of 13, I myself came to know the Lord as my own personal saviour. The conviction had just got so much for me that I just knelt down simply at the side of my bed and asked the Lord to forgive me for my sins and to come into my life. Throughout my teenage years, I um, attended quite a lot of church services and the youth fellowship was a big part of my life. I made a good network of friends there and thankfully that kept me away from the world. I wasn't interested in drinking or drugs or going out to any of the pubs or clubs in the town. Instead, I joined the youth outreach team and it was there where we would have went once a month on a Saturday night up into Macrofelt town and stood outside those pubs and clubs and handed out gospel tracts. Um, of course, we were mocked and ridiculed and laughed at but we didn't care we were doing the work of the Lord and we knew that those people had souls to be saved. Unfortunately as things go um, friends uh, get married and they move away so I didn't have the same friendship or the same fellowship and unfortunately this is where I backslid. Um, I started to date people that you know were unbelievers and the Bible is so true when it says not to be um, unequally yoked. I used to think that I could bring the person my way, but instead they pulled me theirs and I found myself drifting away from God. Thankfully, I didn't go into the pubs and clubs or drinking and smoking again or doing those things, but I did stop going to church and I stopped reading my Bible and praying, which is just as bad. Um, thankfully, there last year, um, I started to get the love back for church. I actually went back just to please someone. I went along with them to their church service and I found that I started to enjoy church again. And it's only just there through the lockdown there at the start of March where I started to feel a true sense of closeness with God. I was here working at home by myself and I had more alone time with God and I found a closeness with him that I've never felt before. And it's now that I have an urgency in my mind that I need to witness to others to tell them of their need of a saviour because I realise that time is short at the moment. Um, signs all around us are showing you know that things are coming to an end soon and that the Lord is fulfilling all his promises in the word but we are to be faithful to him and to witness to others and keep um, trying to win souls until the, the last day and that's what I pray that this message will do I pray that this will go out and that someone will hear it and that it will speak to someone and encourage them to want to come to know the Saviour that I have because he's given me true joy and peace. I don't fear tomorrow. Um, I live each day um, for the Lord and I try my best to live the life that he wants me to live and to witness for him. And I thank Joseph for giving me the opportunity to do this testimony because I've been praying to the Lord and asking him to give me a work to do for him. And I believe that this is an answer to prayer and I just pray that the Lord will continue to keep using me each and every day of my life and I try to win my friends and family for Christ. That is the, the goal that I have in my heart. I've set that desire in my heart to win others for Christ and I pray that if someone's listening here um, today and they don't know the Saviour, all you have to do is believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Ask him to forgive your sins and come into your life and he will do it and um, your life will be changed completely. If you've got any addictions or anything, the Lord, he will help you throughout this. Please um, don't put off tomorrow to tomorrow what you can do today. The Lord is saying, behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. And I pray that people will come today and come to know the Lord as their own personal saviour. Thank you. Amen.